Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number one off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we are measuring time here, time intervals specifically. And so there are going to be a few different ways we can solve this problem. So John put a pie in the oven at 515. He took the pie out of oven 35 minutes later. So we just need to figure out what is 35 minutes later. Well, this is what I would suggest. Uh, when we're dealing with time intervals, probably the best way to do it is to do it almost like a number line. And, and I'll show you why in just a moment. This isn't the only way to do it, so we'll look at some other ways to do it, right? So if I'm trying to get to 5.30, or if I'm trying to get to 35 minutes later, so I'm just going to take some jumps, right? So let's just take some... 10 minute jumps. So 5.25. And let's just take another 10 minute jump. So we get 5.35. I need to keep track of how many minutes I've used so far. Two 10 minute jumps. That's going to be 20 minutes so far. Let's take another 10 minute jump. All right, so take a look at what I've got now. I've got three sets of 10 minutes. So as I'm doing these 10 minutes, I need to realize that all right, right here, I've got 30 minutes, which means if I do another 10 minute jump, I'm, I'm out of luck. I'm past my, my 35 minutes. So I need to bring it down to a five minute jump. So I'm gonna bring it like right here. I'm going to do five minutes. And you notice I'm just adding to the to the minutes. I'm not adding to the hours. So I'm kind of out of room down there. So I'll do 5.50. And I've got 35 minutes. And I just did 10 minutes jump. So I'm just adding 15, 25, 35, 45. And then I added the five minutes to get from 45 up to 50. So that seems pretty straightforward. But this problem is actually pretty lucky because we stay within the hour. That's why this type of uh, solution strategy is pretty good because if you were to go over the hour, right? Let's say if you were to go 5.15 or 5.45 plus 30 minutes, well, you would have to go over 6 o'clock and that's, that's kind of where things kind of get a little bit weird and so uh, a timeline like this is actually going to be a little bit easier. So another way we could have solved this is we could have just drawn a clock, but once again, it really only works if you don't have to go over the hour. Once you go over the hour, we kind of lose track of stuff. And we'll notice another problem with this. So if you solved it like this, that's fine. You just have to kind of keep a few things in your head. Uh, one of them being, are you going over the hour? Because then your hour shifts. And secondly, what we're going to find is the hour hand doesn't move like it should because we're just drawing it. So if I'm starting at 5.15, right? So I'm going to draw my minute hand. It's going to be my long hand. That's 15, right? So I've got three sets of five. So there's my 15. And then my hour hand is not quite at the five. It's a little bit past it. See, and that's what we don't get when we're just drawing. So if I were to draw a little bit past it like that, maybe. Okay. So then I just need to draw out 35 minutes, right? So I'm just going to count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. All right. So I could draw that right there. And that's going to give me my 50. And I haven't gone over the hour. But one of the downfalls of this particular strategy is this hour hand should have been moving. It's going to be closer to six now, really close to six. Uh, but either way, our answer here is going to be C, 550.